First, get Gadgety with Chilla. What do you got? So I have the Galaxy Note 5, mm-hmm. which looks much like the other Galaxy. Wait, is this the one where you can turn it around the wrong way? You can, and... you can, you can insert it wrong. Yeah. So, so it does have the the stylus pen, S Pen. Okay. Um, I will say, it, I'm actually very impressed with battery life, speed of the device, and the S Pen really makes me wonder: do I do I want an actual stylus for my iOS device? Um, while you can put the pet, put the pen in upside down and they, they aren't a hundred percent sure if that's going to be covered under warranty or not. And then it gets stuck and breaks the sensor, which would actually really bum me out. But, um, one of the really cool features is if your phone's locked and you pull out the pen, you can actually take down a note while the phone's locked. Mm-hmm. Um, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, without much like taking a, a photo, from the camera, um, without unlocking the phone, you can actually take a quick note. Um, putting the pen back in will relock the device. The device does have the fingerprint sensor, um, much like the S5, S6 line. Um, this being the Note 5, even though it's kind of more along the 6 genre. Mm-hmm. Um, typical micro USB on the bottom, uh, head headphones, speaker... Um, I actually have used the camera quite often. One of the cool things that I found with the camera is you can actually broadcast to YouTube live. Oh, you're the one that gets that with a tap with 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 a tap of a button. You have my attention <laughs> because this is one of those. Because somebody was asking about, uh, we were asking about live streaming like in a year from now something, and we're like, well, you realize YouTube Live will probably be on everybody's phone because it's on the Samsungs right now. Now you get to that. Now have you played with that yet? I have not played with it yet, but it does. It does work i mean i've tapped the button and it gives you a disclaimer and says you're about to go live with your device or you hope sure you're not you in the bathroom <laughs> yes. Yes. um it, it also has some some interesting features from a camera perspective that, that i actually want to play more with mm. it actually has a virtual shot that lets you kind of take a three-dimensional picture around something which i thought was pretty neat around the outside of something Yeah, remember like we were looking at some of the camera apps that would kind of let you pan around something and as you tilted the device it would kind of give you that three-dimensional look? Okay, like product shots or something. Yes, it looks like it kind of does that. So maybe for that one thing that we were talking about earlier, that Mm -hmm. could be an interesting way to capture products and and devices and cool tech. Um, The fingerprint sensor coming from the 6th generation obviously works a thousand times better than Samsung did on their their S5 model. Mm -hmm. Um, The one thing I will actually say I highly, highly miss from the S6 is the infrared blaster. Um, So on the S6, when we reviewed that, we were talking about it came with the Peel app and I could use it to remote control any home stereo, TV, anything with infrared. Yeah. They actually dropped it from the Note 5 and the S6 Plus. So was that like edge. a was it like a little no little used uh I don't know if it was little used or they just felt for the for the demographic they're hitting with these devices, they didn't mm-hmm. need to hit some of the the more consumer-esque type stuff. Um, or maybe they found that where kids were just running around from place to place changing well, channels. Well, you're going to have that. I, I, Chachi had that. Like, on, like the last, the current, or the last Android phone that Chachi had, we were like turning the TV off because it was freaking annoying in the sheets, right? Right. I mean, that's, I mean, this has been the thing that's been on watches for right. how many years? I remember kids in school, like, turning the TV on or off or changing the channel. Um, I mean, this is nothing new. So I, I think it's just one of those, like, oh, let's stick it in or let's not. I think they're just like... Uh, buffering the phone with features. The, the the device does have a lot of preloaded software. Interestingly enough, you can remove the majority of it. So it does come with some of your Microsoft Office apps. Mm-hmm. Um, it does come with some AT&T apps because I have the AT&T model. Um, and then it, it comes with all your regular stock stuff. I've Wait, added I- drop cam and whatnot. It works well. Um, I, I, well, I'm looking at a video here from Android Central. Is, is, does this have the curved like kind of edges? So screen? this doesn't have the edge. Okay, no. can I see it? So the note, yeah, sure. I'll actually take it out of the. Oh, so, so the I can S- actually see the fanciness. Yeah. So the S6 edge, the edge <laughs> lines have the curved edge. Um, that so if you tap, if you kind of push up on the bottom right, it will eject the pen. Please don't insert it backwards, <laughs> which is very easy to do. So, like I said, please don't insert it. 
backwards. <laughs> so don't pull a Leo because you'll have to kind of deal with that. How do? So, oh, this, so this comes out here. Yeah. Oh, and, I, and it, it kind of buzzes, and now I get like a, a screen for specific things. So it's pretty cool too. Pull if you hold hold the go back into, or you could probably even do it from that screen. Hmm. Kind of hold the the stylus over the device in the air without touching. Can you see the dot? You may have to turn it back around to even see it. You can oh, kind of wow. see, yeah. You there's can, like a it's a there's a dot that like it follows. That's, right, it's pretty cool. So you can see like exactly where you're tapping if you want to get real intricate or whatnot. I'm um, not putting this in backwards. I'm just kind of looking at it because I've watched the everybody's watched the video, right? So supposedly, and I'm not going to do anything. Don't worry. So supposedly, mm -hmm. it, you could even just drop this the wrong way in. And it won't come out all the way. And there's a sensor in there that's a little flip sensor. They kind of showed the physics of this. And it will catch it because this end where it kind of sticks out um, is enough to go in. But it won't come out without busting that, basically. And that's like a sensor to... Tell um, it that it's ejected. To tell, it, to tell it that it's ejected to, to like the little menu that popped up. Like that, that mm -hmm. doesn't pop up anymore, right? Right. Jeez, this is a beautiful phone the, the screen's amazing um the camera is phenomenal you can actually double tap right on the home button and it brings up the camera oh that's cool um and then if you hit the there mode if you yeah. hit, <laughs> it does amazing facial face detection really um yeah if, i don't know if you noticed when you did that it actually put a ring around your face does it do it for a selfie yeah, it does do it on the selfie side um okay you can if you hit that mode button <laughs> It actually gives you all the different modes. You have a lot of selfies on your phone, Jill. <laughs> and they're all uploaded to my Make Google Make sure you photos. post these later. <laughs> if, if, you, <laughs> if you insert this in your nose backwards, does it come back out? That's the question we're going to answer here on the Awesome Cast. Uh, but no, but basically, uh, so I, I guess the issue has been, um, if it goes in backwards, uh, they're not going to fix it. It's not covered under warranty. And the answer is read the freaking manual. Pretty much. And that's, I mean, kids just, you know, eh, you know, uh, you know, unfortunate parents that, that let their kids play with a, you know, $600 plus phone, whatever this is. Um, uh, I mean, that's, that's, come on. God, this is a good looking so, so phone. You were, you were talking about broadcasting, right? So you double tap to bring up the camera, right? So you still have the camera open? Oh, I can. Mm mm. There it is. Okay. So now hit the mode button in, the, I think, the lower left-hand corner. There's a mode button. Okay. Now there's broadcast. Selfie, wide selfie, and I can live broadcast. Is this going to go to your YouTube? No. No? Because I don't have YouTube oh, you're not set, set up, up on there. So, yeah, you do get a, a little kind of agreement and everything. It'll set up with your account. Was it, is it showing me behind it? No, it's showing the other side of the studio. Okay. Um, because I'm in... So I can agree. And one, one of the cool things that, that Samsung did with this is they, they Im implemented... <laughs> Actually, I could go... It looks like I could go live very easily. Oh, you might be able I to. Might be, is I'm okay if I do? my Gmail. Yeah, go ahead. All right, I'm going to hit OK. I just, I just uh, accepted that. Uh, it wants me to sign in. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see what happens here. Nope. Nope. That wants a password. So... That it is a beautiful but phone. I, I mean, for, for everything, you know, uh, questions about it, I, I, I don't recommend Samsung because I think there's too much crap on them. But now you can remove it all. So I, You can now. Yeah, a lot of That's things awesome. you can just go on and remove. Um, the other thing that they seem to have done is some of the things I actually probably wouldn't remove mm -hmm. because, like, they, they, they now give you um, uh, some free premium stuff. Like, I got a uh, one year to po pocket premium. Nice. Um, I got a hundred gigs of space on Microsoft's cloud, so I have an extra. I have extra storage that I can use at any point in time. So some of those apps are pretty nice in the fact that you do get a bunch of extra type of stuff um, with them. Um, and what else was I going to say to you while you were over there? I don't remember if it was about photos. I mean, they're, they're nice phones. They're, uh, and I don't think uh, until you've like uh, kind of held one in your hand or get to a store and, and check out the display or something, you don't really know until you've, you've set eyes on it. But that's mm -hmm. nice. That is that's super nice. Yeah. I, so far, I, like I said, I've been really impressed. I actually use the wireless charger, so I just literally go and lay it down next to my bed at night, and it just magically charges. Um, audio quality is pretty darn good. Camera quality is, I would consider, phenomenal. Um, so all in all, it's, it's if you're if you're in the in in the looking for an Android device, this would be the one I would pick up. Wow! At this point in time, uh, what if you are a beginner Androider? I think it, it lends itself to the beginner Android. Oh, that's that's the one thing I was going to say. They implemented 
um, from the Google side that it came out in KitKat, if you get a replacement Android device and mm -hmm. the devices run KitKat, when you boot up the device, it'll literally say, hold this device against your other device, and it will copy everything over. Like <laughs> NFC. NF NFC copy. So I actually held it against the Galaxy S6. And it's not a Samsung thing. This is a Google thing. It made its NFC connection. I had to type in my... G I had to confirm my Google passwords on both devices. Mm -hmm. And it copied everything over. That's amazing. Apps, wow. files, everything. Wow. I, like So I thought that was re a really nice way to transfer phones. Um, even better than the, the, the some of the Apple plug this in and restore type thing. It was just awesome. hold this up against your existing phone. So That's awesome. as a newbie, I would say yes, because their, their UI is pretty intuitive. Mm -hmm. um, I would say it's not as clean as the, and the native Android Nexus experience, mm -hmm. but it is intuitive for your, for your basic user. Awesome. Awesome. Go check out the Samsung note five galaxy note five, the stylus dilly. That's that's how you know, <laughs> right? Uh, cool, Katie. What